Good day all you wonderful people. Today I'm taking a look at set 41755. That's the Lego Friends Nova's Room. It retails for $17.99 here in the UK. It contains 179 pieces and is recommended for ages 6 and up. Uh, I've been excited to get this and review it for quite a while now. It comes with um, two members of the main cast of the new LEGO Friends reboot. We have uh, Nova and Zack. And of course it comes with everybody's favourite, Nova's dog Pickle the Wheelchair Doggy. Um, the cool thing you can notice in this set is um, on Nova's gaming devices, or on Zack's laptop, there seems to be a reference to the old Lego Bionicle theme that ran from um, about 2001 to 2010 um, before it kind of faded away and then came back briefly in um, 2015 before completely dying on its arse in uh, 2016. Um, there's also a reference to uh, the old Lego Alpha Team theme from the early 2000s uh, with the skull of Ogle um, where one of the villains had like a skull motif so I guess Nova is I guess pretty into her old Lego themes or video games and merch based on them anyway So there's cool features in this set, like a place for Nova to work on Pickle's wheelchair. Uh, there's a wheelchair ramp for Pickle to get up onto her bed. Uh, there's a really nice gaming setup. And um, there's even the option to sort of conceal things under Nova's bed, which lifts up. So yeah, this is, um, I think, going to be my favourite one out of the 2023 LEGO Friends room sets. But anyway, enough about the box and packaging, let's get into the build. So the box um, includes two bags of bricks, a base plate, a sticker sheet and an instruction manual. Um, which, like um, most of the instruction manuals in the LEGO Friends reboot, it gives us a slight overview of the characters. So we've got Nova there. On the next page there's Pickle, there's a map showing where Nova and Zack live in relation to each other in Heartlake City. And then Zack's got his own section as you go through uh, to bag two. So yeah, that's just a nice touch that they have in the instruction manuals. Um, they're really trying to make these characters feel more like real people, I guess, um, that children can relate to. And here's the sticker sheet, there's some good stuff on there. Um, I like the sticker for Nova's kind of Twitch screen, streaming or maybe Discord chat while she's gaming online. Um, I like the Legend of Zelda looking sort of poster there with the elf looking characters. Um, I mean, it might even be a callback to Lego Elves, which was a great theme they should really bring back. Um, I like the details on the gaming monitors where you can see the Bionicle style characters. Uh, one of them has a lightning style sword, which kind of matches um, this lightning looking weapon Nova has mounted on her wall. So, um, you know, she's obviously a serious gamer who likes merch of all her different characters and interests from the game she plays. Okay, let's start putting bricks together. So here's Nova. Uh, she comes with the same cell phone piece that we've seen in a couple of other Nova related sets. And she's got her sort of standard facial expression on the head there. Uh, she's got this nice um, shirt with a video game controller on it, uh, which is a cool piece to get. I'm loving all the different outfits in the new Friends reboot. They've just come up with a lot more, I don't know, I guess modern kind of sort of things you would see real teens wearing, I guess. I 
And she's got the new leg piece that so far I think has only been used on her. Um, it's kind of wider at the hips than a standard mini doll um, set of legs. And she's got that new hair piece that's new for 2023, but so far I think has only been used on Nova. And then we've got Zach. And his hair piece is all new for 2023. And it's... Um, I think it's one of the best ones. I really like the texture on the hair there. Uh, I love his torso with the kind of pizza sleep game kind of um, theme on it. Uh, his legs are not new, but I think it's the first time I've seen them in this exact colour combination. And uh, he has his laptop here ready for a day of gaming with Nova. Yeah, this is the first time I've got Zack, so I'm pretty glad to get this character. Then we have our wheelchair doggo, Pickle. Uh, he came in the um, dog rescue van set, but he had a different facial expression, a different coloured harness, uh, but he still had the same wheels he has in this set. Um, both sets include his black wheels and these kind of teal wheels, um, so you can uh, swap the wheels around to work on his mobility device. Yeah, he's one of the best new um, animal modes for this year. I love all the details and just the overall cuteness of all these friends animals. So the first thing the set has us build is this workbench. It's sort of an area where Nova can work on up upgrading Pickle's wheelchair. It's got a, a set of wheels, a sort of clockwork looking contraption. Uh, there's a wrench there, and it also has this hammer that I've got Nova holding right now. With the set all built, here's uh, some of the left, well, here's all of the leftover pieces. There's some useful things there. And here's how the new Lego Friends hair pieces look on regular minifigures which are completely compatible, of course, as always. So the remainder of the build is basically the room and all its accoutrements. Um, so here we see Zach and Nova having a day of gaming together. Uh, Zach's, brought his, uh, Zach's brought his laptop over, and Nova's got her um, double screen set up there. According to the press releases and the LEGO website, Zach is into motorsports, anime, performing arts, playing pranks, but he's also a big gamer. So I imagine that he and Nova probably get together to game together pretty often. And it probably helps Nova with her social anxiety. Um, because apparently, despite having many, many online followers, she's quite socially awkward in real life. So... I feel like Pickle might get a bit neglected if these two are gaming all day. Um, but maybe Pickle likes it when Nova doesn't pay him any attention, considering that on the box she's literally chasing him down with a wrench in her hand. Um, and Pickle's running away. Um, I mean, maybe he saw that skull there and thought, hey, I don't want to get too near her when she's handling a heavy blunt object. So the room has some um, great features, like uh, the bed here can be lifted up, and we've got Nova's phone underneath, and a frisbee to play with Pickle. Uh, Pickle has a doggy ramp for his wheelchair to get up onto the bed. Uh, both chairs can swivel around. Nova's got like a full-on gaming chair. This sort of smaller stool type chair for Zach. Now I've got that skull of Ogle on display. 
um, possibly some sort of action figure, probably from a video game. Um, she's got a mic for her online streaming, a random pink frog, which I assume is perhaps from a video game. Uh, there's a game controller up here on this shelf. And then on her screens, you can see the image of Nova while she's Twitch streaming and playing that game that sort of looks reminiscent of Bionicle. Uh, I like that the fans on her um, uh, PC tower have kind of got like a neon colour to them. And then if we look at this um, shelving area, well, she's got a picture of Pickle and a lava lamp and some books, etc. Um, that actually can be uh, moved out of the way. And that's where we see that sticker of the um, kind of Lego Elves Legend of Zelda style poster. So, you know, Nova's not just a hardcore gamer, she likes, I guess, elf romance. So she has a softer side as well as being the, you know, edgy hardcore gamer. So yeah. Once again, Lego Friends gives us another amazing little set. Yeah, Seventeen ninety nine is a good price, and um, there's a lot to do with it. I like that it comes with um, two mini dolls, so you know it's not like just one mini doll, so they've got no one to interact with. Uh, we've got an animal, you know, two sets of wheels for the animal. Uh, we've got lots of sort of features of the room with the gaming setup and the accessories and the um, lift up bed, etc. So there's definitely a lot going on here. Yeah. Once again, Lego Friends continues to be um, amazing for 2023. Can't wait to build my next one. Okay, bye bye.